All right, so I just heard the word that Grubauer is out for game two. So the Colorado Avalanche in game two will have to go with uh, Pavel Francouz. Now, this is not necessarily a major step down. Francouz is a very capable goaltender. His statistics in the playoffs have been excellent, and his statistics during the regular season when he played were very, very strong. So this is not a situation where having to down, you know, quote downgrade from your starting goaltender, uh, Philip Grubauer to Pavel Francouz is an automatic, oh no, what do we do now we're gonna lose? Not at all. Uh, can Colorado win game two with Francouz in net? Can they win the series with Francouz in net? Yes, absolutely, I believe they can. However, I cannot deny that Grubauer was playing at times out of his mind in this postseason and therefore, it could be a step down, though it isn't a guarantee that it is. The other problem is that it does seem as though Dallas, uh, over the, their last number of games against both Calgary and now against Colorado, have found their offense, which is a problem for Colorado. Obviously, that's not a problem for Dallas. They're pretty happy about that, I'm quite certain. So I think that Colorado fans should have no reason particularly to be... Uh, disconcerted or or to fret over this situation. Obviously, you'd rather have Grubauer in only because he has more experience and has been playing so well in the postseason. Uh, Francois with little experience, you don't necessarily know what you're going to get, but let's face it, with any goaltender, you don't know what you're going to get on any given night. Uh, for Dallas, I think this is an opportunity to throw lots of pucks at the net and see if Francois is as good as advertised, so to speak as good as he was during the regular season and even um you know maybe as good as he was when he came in in game one because he did play well after grubauer's injury in game one but if dallas wins game two uh because of franco's being in net or just because they play better and win uh, it's going to be one heck of a hole for Colorado to have to dig out of, even if they have Grubauer in Game 3 and going forward, and I don't know if they will. So this is a really interesting situation, one I did not foresee. Uh, first of all, I did not foresee Dallas being up one game to zip going into Game 2, and second of all, obviously nobody can predict an injury. So I think Dallas is in a, a very key situation here where they can... Uh, win game two and put Colorado in a tough spot early on in this series, which could uh, turn, you know, turn the tide, tip the scales, whatever you want to call it, in Dallas's favor. And this series could be over faster than expected and in a direction that I definitely did not expect, which is Dallas winning. But uh, time will tell. Thank you for watching. Do leave me comments and let me know what you think about the situation. Be you a Dallas fan or a Colorado fan or a neutral observer of the situation. Please do click the like button if you found this video to be useful, entertaining, or informational. And do subscribe, please, if you have not already. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye now.